In the metals quadrant today, taking a look at the May Copper Futures contract, which finished today down over 2%, was down 2.41% on the lows. Four spot 0405 was the low. The high four spot 1495 was only up 22 basis points. So we have a two day drop now in copper prices. And as we hit the midpoint, of the month of March, copper puts in two down sessions, as I mentioned, could have been three if you were going from open to close. Three days ago, we had a lower close than the open, but that close was still a half a tick higher than the previous day. So two consecutive down sessions in price, technically speaking, heading toward its second down week in the last three, and also the month of March, as we hit the midpoint, has now turned negative. If we finish the month negative, that would be the first negative month for copper prices since September of 2020. Now, potential demand is taking a little bit of a hit as well, and that's part of the recent reason that we've seen recent weakness. Uh, new COVID-19 related lockdowns are starting to hit the EU. Italy announced new nationwide lockdown through Easter Sunday, while Germany admitted that it was in a third wave of coronavirus cases. Cases are starting to rise in Germany now. In, in addition, several EU nations, including the biggest economies, Germany, France, and Italy, have stopped using one of the vaccines while they tend to an investigation into possible side effects. So all of that has taken a slight little bit out of the demand projections for copper use in the very near future. Now, on top of that, we had a little bit of a drought for Chinese data and the first batch of Chinese data that we've gotten this week has been kind of mixed. Industrial production came in strong, 35.1% versus an expectation of 30. Retail sales for China, 33.8% versus an expectation of 32. But their unemployment rate came in at 5.5% versus an expectation of 5.2. So that was a negative. And the big one, fixed asset investment numbers, 35% versus an expectation of 40% higher. So that was weak. Mixed bag of data isn't really giving a little bit of tailwind to copper. It's kind of leaving a floor in it, but not helping it drive higher at all.